Mr. King, thank you so much for joining us and offering us the opportunity to hear from you, uh, both as we mark uh, the anniversary of your father's birth, uh, as well as the anniversary of uh, Rabbi Dr. Heschel's passing 50 years ago. Uh, this is an opportunity for us to hear from you, to think about what it is that you feel is important for uh, the fans, friends, and family of Rabbi Dr. Heschel to be thinking about at this time. Uh, any thoughts that you'd like to share with us tonight? Well, certainly, thank you for the opportunity. And um, as I think about Rabbi Heschel and what uh, he meant to the modern day civil rights movement as one of the greatest scholars of our time, first of all, uh, but a leader who perhaps understood that the world is diverse and has a lot of different people and a lot of issues and yet when injustice occurred, uh, he felt compelled uh, to join my father in uh, Selma, Alabama. They certainly had dialogue and discussions uh, and march uh, across the Edmund Pettus Bridge. Uh, and I think many uh, in our nation saw that, uh, which I, what I would call coalition leadership, uh, the irony is 50 years later, we need desperately that kind of leadership today because our nation is drifting uh, apart as opposed to uh, thinking, how do we work together? Dad and Rabbi Husho, I believe, taught that we can disagree without being disagreeable. And yet we don't see that scenario as much as we'd like to today. We see people at each other's neck. And obviously that will not serve our nation or our world in the most responsible way. Uh, we, we need leadership like Rabbi Hushel, and it is so, it's so missed uh, in, in our nation today. You know, we're sitting here, uh, you're with us. We have uh, Professor Susanna Heschel is one of our speakers later on in our program. Any wishes for her, uh, for her family, as they're thinking about their father and your father, of course, tonight together as well? Well, you know, first of all, uh, to Dr. Susanna Heschel, um, we have great love. Our family has great love and respect for her. Uh, we have marched and maybe sometimes demonstrated together over the years, uh, and she means so much. Her voice uh, is uh, is extraordinarily significant uh, in this day and time, um, in a sense, uh, just as uh, I believe I'm doing what I can to follow in the tradition of my father and mother. Uh, she also is following in the tradition of her family and an outstanding voice in a world that and, and sometimes it feels very lonely, but um, I, I certainly uh, always wish her the best and have tremendous love uh, and affection for her. And especially at this time, as it is 50 years uh, at, the, at, the, at, the, at the, the loss of, of, of her father. As we think about the next 50 years, uh, do you have any hopes, aspirations for us, for the Jewish community, uh, as we continue to move on uh, with Rabbi Heschel's legacy uh, over the next 50 years? Well, I, I certainly do. I think humankind has, has got to rise up to the task. And the task, again, is to develop a climate where peace, justice, and equity can exist for all human beings. Uh, which uh, is, uh, is, is very difficult in a society that advocates and promotes oftentimes violence. Um, my dad used to say, and this may be a little bit um, controversial, but he would say, you know, I can't talk about violence in the world without looking at my own nation, which has perpetuated more violence uh, than a little. He, he maybe said even more violence than anyone. And today, uh, unfortunately, that still feels true. So how do we create a peaceful society in the next 50 years? Because this we are doing not just for ourselves, but for our children and generations yet unborn. How do all of our communities, with all of the differences 
and disagreements that we may have? How do we come together to create, my dad would have called it the beloved community. In fact, his last book was entitled, Where Do We Go From Here? Chaos or Community. We see chaos today, but we must seek to work and that means all of us for community because that is sustainable. But if we continue, you know, at each other, as, as dad said, darkness can't put out darkness, only light can. Hate cannot put out hate, only love can do that. And so we must work to create that kind of community, to create a nation where we are promoting peace and, and nonviolence. And it's a hard task. It's not easy, but it is something that humankind can achieve. And that's what I want to be a part of that community that helps to create that kind of climate and not the climate that we uh, are seeing, uh, unfortunately, that may emerge every day. We are much better. We're a much better society than the behavior that we see from time to time. I want to thank you, uh, and I want to thank you in, in the way of Jewish tradition, which is to offer a blessing. Uh, mm. and you spoke about peace. You didn't just speak about a piece of, uh, of calm, but a piece of a fight for something that's important. And so I want to bless you and your family as we remember your father this weekend uh, with the sense that, that we should all continue to fight together for something that is greater uh, and something that is good for us all. Yeah, so thank absolutely. you so much and blessings. All right. Same to you. So good to talk to you. Hope to actually meet you someday. Physically. That would be lovely. All right. Blessings to you. Blessings. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you.